In this video, we are going to find the derivative of an implicit function. However, before doing so, let us first look at the meaning of an explicit and implicit function. A function given the form of y is equal to f of x, say y is equal to f of x which is equal to 3x to the power 4 is called an explicit function because the variable y is explicitly expressed as a function of x. So far, we have been dealing with finding the derivative of an explicit function. In an explicit function, the dependent variable is explicitly expressed as a function of an independent variable. Now, a function in which the dependent variable is not isolated on one side of the equation is known as an implicit function. The equation x square plus xy minus y square is equal to 1 represents an implicit function because both the variable x and y are present on the left hand side of the equation. In the equation x and y are not isolated from each other. Implicit functions are usually given in terms of both dependent and independent variables. If in a given function of two variables say x and y the two variables are present on one side of the function and are not isolated from each other then that function is known as an implicit function. Let us proceed to do some problems on finding the derivative of an implicit function. Let us look at the first problem x square y cube plus 2xy plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. In the solution we will write down given an implicit function x square y cube plus 2xy plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. In order to find the derivative of y with respect to x of an implicit function we need to differentiate both sides of an implicit function with respect to x. Using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of x square y cube plus 2xy plus y plus 2 is equal to derivative with respect to x of x square y cube plus derivative with respect to x of 2xy plus derivative with respect to x of y plus derivative with respect to x of 2. Using the constant function rule the derivative with respect to x of constant 0 is equal to 0. Using the product rule the derivative with respect to x of x square y cube is equal to x square times derivative with respect to x of y cube plus y cube times the derivative with respect to x of x square plus using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to x of 2xy is equal to 2 times the derivative with respect to x of xy plus the derivative with respect to x of y is equal to dy by dx plus using the constant function rule the derivative with respect to x of 2 is equal to 0. Now since we cannot find the derivative with respect to x of y cube we are going to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to y. By doing so we can now find the derivative with respect to x of x cube. Using the power function rule the derivative with respect to x of x cube is equal to 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 or 3 y to the power 3 minus 1. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to y we need to again differentiate y with respect to x. The derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1. Using the product rule the derivative with respect to x of x times y is equal to x times the derivative with respect to x of y plus y times the derivative with respect to x of x plus dy by dx 3x square y to the power 3 minus 1 is equal to y to the power 2 or y square. The derivative with respect to x of y is equal to dy by dx 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x. The derivative with respect to x of y is equal to dy by dx plus y. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. y times 1 is equal to y. Let us simplify further by multiplying the constant 2 with each term inside the bracket. 2 times x dy by dx is equal to 2x dy by dx plus 2 times y is equal to 2y. Let us keep all the terms involving dy by dx on the left hand side while transferring the other terms such as 2xy cube and 2y to the right hand side. By doing so we have 3x square y square 
times dy by dx plus 2x times dy by dx plus dy by dx is equal to minus 2xy cube minus 2y. By taking dy by dx as common on the left hand side, we are left with 3x square y square plus 2x plus 1. By taking minus as common on the right hand side, we have 2xy cube plus 2y. By transferring 3x square y square plus 2x plus 1 to the denominator, we have dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to minus 2xy cube plus 2y by 3x square y square plus 2x plus 1. So this is our answer. Let us now look at the second problem. x square minus 7xy plus y square is equal to 10. In the solution we will write down given an implicit function x square minus 7xy plus y square is equal to 10. Now differentiating both sides with respect to x we have using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of x square minus 7xy plus y square is equal to derivative with respect to x of x square minus derivative with respect to x of 7xy plus derivative with respect to x of y square. Using the constant function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 10 is equal to 0. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to x of 7xy is equal to 7 times the derivative with respect to x of xy. Since we cannot find the derivative with respect to x of y square, we are going to use the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to y. By doing so, we can now find the derivative with respect to x of x square. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 or 2 y to the power 2 minus 1. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to y, we need to again differentiate y with respect to x. x to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power 1 or we can simply write x. Using the product rule, the derivative with respect to x of x times y is equal to x times the derivative with respect to x of y plus y times the derivative with respect to x of x. y to the power 2 minus 1 is equal to y to the power 1 or we can simply write y. The derivative with respect to x of y is equal to dy by dx. The derivative with respect to x of y is equal to dy by dx plus y. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1. y times 1 is equal to y. Minus times plus is equal to minus 7 times x dy by dx is equal to 7x dy by dx. Minus times plus is equal to minus 7 times y is equal to 7y. Let us keep all the terms involving dy by dx on the left hand side and transferring the others such as 2x and minus 7y to the right hand side. By doing so we have minus 7x times dy by dx plus 2y times dy by dx is equal to 7y minus 2x. By taking dy by dx as common on the left hand side, we are left with minus 7x plus 2y or 2y minus 7x. By transferring 2y minus 7x to the denominator, we have dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 7y minus 2x by 2y minus 7x. So this is our answer. Let us now look at a third problem. xy minus x plus y plus 1 to the power 6 is equal to 0. In the solution we will write down given an implicit function xy minus x plus y plus 1 to the power 6 is equal to 0. Now differentiating both sides with respect to x we have using the sum and difference rule we have derivative of xy minus x plus y plus 1 to the power 6 is equal to derivative with respect to x of xy minus derivative with respect to x of x plus y plus 1 to the power 6. Derivative with respect to x of constant 0 is equal to 0. Using the product rule, the derivative with respect to x of x times y is equal to x 
times the derivative with respect to x of y plus y times the derivative with respect to x of x. Now since we cannot find the derivative of an expression raised to some power, we are going to use the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to the expression x plus y plus 1. By doing so, we can now find the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 6. The derivative with respect to x of x to the power 6 is equal to 6 x to the power 6 minus 1 or 6 x plus y plus 1 to the power 6 minus 1. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to the expression x plus y plus 1, we need to again differentiate the expression x plus y plus 1 with respect to x. The derivative with respect to x of y is equal to dy by dx plus y. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 minus 6 x plus y plus 1 to the power 6 minus 1 is equal to x plus y plus 1 to the power 5. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to x of x plus y plus 1 is equal to derivative with respect to x of x plus derivative with respect to x of y plus derivative with respect to x of 1. y times 1 is equal to y. The derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 plus the derivative with respect to x of y is equal to dy by dx plus the derivative with respect to x of constant 1 is equal to 0. Let us simplify further by multiplying the expression 6x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 with each term inside the bracket. Minus times plus is equal to minus 6x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 times 1 is equal to 6 x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 minus times plus is equal to minus 6 x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 times dy by dx is equal to 6 x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 dy by dx let us keep all the terms involving dy by dx on the left hand side and transferring all the other terms such as y and 6 x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 to the left hand side x dy by dx minus 6x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 dy by dx is equal to 6x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 minus y. By taking dy by dx as common on the left hand side we are left with x minus 6x plus y plus 1 to the power 5. By transferring x minus 6x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 to the denominator we have dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 6 x plus y plus 1 to the power 5 minus y by x minus 6 x plus y plus 1 to the power 5. This is our answer. Let us now look at the fourth problem x to the power 1 by 2 plus y to the power 1 by 2 is equal to a to the power 1 by 2. In the solution we will write down given an implicit function x to the power 1 by 2 plus y to the power 1 by 2 is equal to a to the power 1 by 2. Now differentiating both sides with respect to x we have using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 1 by 2 plus y to the power 1 by 2 is equal to derivative with respect to x of x to the power 1 by 2 plus derivative with respect to x of y to the power 1 by 2. In this case, a is a constant parameter. Using the constant function rule, the derivative with respect to x of a to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 0. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1. Now since there is no formula to find the derivative with respect to x of y to the power 1 by 2, we are going to apply the chain rule. Let us assume that x is equal to y. By doing so, we can now find the derivative with respect to x of 1 by 2. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to x of x to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 or 1 by 2 y to the power 1 by 2 minus 1. Now since we have assumed that x is equal to y, we need to again differentiate y with respect to x 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 is equal to x to the power minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 y to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 is equal to y to the power 
minus 1 by 2. The derivative of y with respect to x is equal to dy by dx. Let us keep the term involving dy by dx on the left hand side and transfer the other term to the right hand side. By doing so we have let us transfer 1 by 2 y to the power minus 1 by 2 to the denominator. Let us cancel out 1 by 2 present in the numerator and denominator. By doing so we have dy by dx is equal to minus x to the power minus 1 by 2 by y to the power minus 1 by 2. By using the properties of an exponent x to the power minus 1 by 2 present in the numerator can be transferred to the denominator. By doing so the sign of the exponent minus 1 by 2 will change. Similarly y to the power minus 1 by 2 present in the denominator can be transferred to the numerator. By doing so the sign of the exponent minus 1 by 2 will change. Again using the properties of an exponent y to the power 1 by 2 can also be written as square root of y. Similarly x to the power 1 by 2 can also be written as square root of x. By doing so we have dy by dx that is derivative of y with respect to x is equal to minus root of y by root of x. This is our final answer.